Hey guys, how you doing? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to those around the world. Welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video featuring Lucario coming through Master Rank in the bot lane today. But today we're doing a little something different. Generally, I play jungle, right? As of late, I've been working on bot lane more so because I feel like this is probably going to be the more dominant role, per se. Whereas... I'm very keen when it comes to being in the jungle. I know where my rotations are, I know when the, the spawns happen and everything. And I feel that's a very, very, very important part of the game. I feel like if you don't have a very good jungler, a lot of the teams can fall apart because you're not getting your rotations down, you're not rotating for bees you know, on the right time. When a lane is dominating a lane or what have you, you don't, if you're not there for bees to keep them further ahead, there's a lot of things in and out when it comes to the jungle, let alone Make sure your knight moves farmed up, make sure you're a good level when you come down for your first objective at Dreadnought. There's just so many things that go to it. But, at the same time, unlike top lane, bot lane has a lot going on. Just like jungle, it has a lot going on. Because as a jungler, what are you doing? You're watching top, you're watching bot, you're watching all your spawns, there's a lot of things going on in that situation. But in bot side, you're doing the same thing except for, so generally speaking, if you're playing a 1-1-3, one, one, which is one person in top, one person in jungle, and then you have three in bot, you're paying attention to what? Yourself and four other players, let alone the random jungler that come down from the enemy side to gank you. There's a lot of stuff that goes on in a bot lane as well. There's a lot of team fights, a lot of coordination, especially when you're playing in a, you know, like a stack or a group or what have you. Now in solo queue, nine out of 10, you may not come across a three person lane in bot lane. It may just be a normal lane, but still in solo queue. When we're talking about this here, it's a nightmare to run into a three stack in a bot lane in a solo queue. It really is. It's really hard to deal with because you're by yourself. You're not coordinated with anybody. Talonflame misses his abilities because I love it. Such a good Pokemon. I hope he gets nerfed in this patch. But in any case, Lucario, generally speaking, where does he go? He goes topside. And what do you do all day, Lucario? You score four points, you score three points, it don't matter. You just keep on scoring and scoring and scoring. And as much as I like to joke about it, as much as like I like to give it crap, it's really the, the way you play Lucario, bro. You go back and forth between goals. Hopefully the enemy team tries to catch you. Most of the time they can't. You score points, you get objectives, you win the game. Like that's his mentality when you're playing Lucario in lane and topside. Now don't get me wrong, he can play all the roles, but he's generally suited for the topside. But I think in a competitive situation in a 5v5 stack, I'm going to be playtesting this a lot. See if I can get coordinated with my team by coming in the bot lane instead of by being in the jungle. More so. That way I can give some of my other teammates more experience when they're playing in the jungle. You know what I mean? Like, let them understand how the jungle mechanics work. The rotations, all that sort of thing. And even in a solo queue environment, you can still play Lucario in the bot lane. As long as you have what? A competent support. And I know how hard that is to do. Because it's solo queue, for instance, right? So, I'm going bot lane here in solo queue. And I get paired up with an Eligos. It's rare, because 9 out of the 10 I'm playing with, what? DPS, because everybody and their brother wants to play DPS. So it's hard to perform well or do something correctly. Or get the same results of something you want. If you don't have the right support, you know what I'm saying? So when I'm down here and I'm playing with a Zero Aura and I'm playing with a Absol, for some other reason, I don't know why, but those Pokemon love playing in bot lane, I don't get it. But they just, they just said no to me, like, instantly double Unite moves. What am I supposed to do in that situation? I'm just like, okay, let me just stop the goal. And they're just like, no, 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 no. We're going to kill you with double Unites. Dragonite comes down as well. And it's just like, all right, cool. It is what it is in that situation. I tried my best. But in a team comp, for instance, Venusaur is generally in the bot side in a three stack. So it's like Venusaur, Wigglytuff, and like either Slowbro or um, Eldegoss. Like, that's the ideal setup for a Venusaur on bot side. But, everybody who's playing in a, just like a five stack or actual competitive tournament play, or whatever, that's what people are generally are running. But I think there's other ins and outs. There has to be other Pokemon that can compete against it or can do just as well. And I think Lucario, hands down, is going to be another another contender for that spot. Just because of his play style and what he can do into a team fight. And you, you gotta admit, come on, Lucario is the most busted Pokemon in the game. There is no reason why he shouldn't be able to compete with Venusaur. Especially in a slow smoke environment, let's be honest. But at the same time, think of it like this. In the top side, right, where Lucario is generally at. Like I said, his goal is to what? Go back and forth score goals. 
Now you are going to take abuse from this because even in a solo queue you will go topside and let's say you actually get that solo lane and top, and topside. Doesn't necessarily mean the enemy team is going to like, okay, give one one versus one in top. They might be 1v2 in top, you know? So you have to contain or content with a lot of damage when you're trying to go back and forth score through gold. But being in a bot side, what do you get? You get support, you get shields, you get heals, you get all this stuff to sustain you in that team fight in the bot side while you're scoring goals and stacking your attack weight, while you're getting in and out of combat, because you have that safety net with those supports, just like Venusaur does, where it feels like Venusaur never dies inside of a team fight. And generally speaking, that's true for 99% of the time. Unless Venusaur is not very great, or he's running Solar Beam, or he's just not getting the support he needs. Venusaur can be a monster and is a monster in this game still, regardless of how many times they nerf his healing. It's just the amount of sustain he gets from Giga Drain, depending on how many targets he hits, there's a lot of stuff that goes goes with it. But with Lucario, he also has sustain, doesn't he? Close combat also gives this man sustain. Extreme speed gives this man sustain. How does extreme speed heal you? It doesn't necessarily heal you, but what does it do? It prolongs your life because it gives you it gives you an opportunity of being super mobile, which for a lot of players is very, very, very hard to deal with because you're extremely mobile, you're very hard to lock down. They're more likely to miss their abilities, miss their skill shots while they're trying to target you. Or, while they're trying to right-click you, left-click you, whatever you want to say, with your auto attacks and stuff, if you're dipping around, it's, it's a lot more difficult for a lot of people. But considering you have your supports, uh, your slow bro here, who's fantastic by the way, like I love seeing this Pokemon, just like I put out a tier list the other day, or yesterday, where I feel slow bro is probably going to be the best tank in the game right now, hands down. Once once other teams, or once other players in solo key realize how good of a Pokemon slow bro is, best tank in the game. Because you have, you have the perfect, the perfect front line in slow bro. Dude, if you're playing Lucario, you're playing Talonflame or whatever, you're playing Venusaur, just find a buddy who loves playing slow bro. Make sure you're around him every single time a team fight starts. This man will protect you. He will keep you alive. Why? Surf. Why? Unite move. He picks up whoever he wants to in the enemy team and just tells them no. Like they can't do anything. They can't play the game. And then you have Pokemon, like I said, like Lucario, who can dip, dash, dodge, do whatever he wants to. Just a waste of time while you're trying to chase this man with extreme speed, bone rush. Or close combat for playing that playstyle with slow smoke, to give you more sustain and burst damage. He's absolutely nuts. Go! I try to juke out this talent flame, but apparently he has more dashes than me. It is what it is. We get the ghouls, we get the Zapdos. We're gonna move into game number two after this one because I'm just having so much fun with this Pokemon. But at the end of the day, we will be looking at a uh, one-one-three, hopefully, in this upcoming game here because I will be doing this in a trio. You're on fire! No, 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 sorry, in a duo. My bad. Because the third player is a randomer. It is what it is. But they're also on the same page as we are, which is kind of surprising in what Solo Duo Q, whatever you want to call it. And it works what out. It pans out in our favor. But we're going to get into it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's get right to it. Catch you guys in a second. Alright guys, welcome back to game number two featuring Lucario in the Master Rank. Coming through bot lane with my duo, who is playing Wigglytuff right now. Let alone, we have a randomer who is playing Eldegoss. This is something I want to practice, like I mentioned before. And I want I want other players out there, for instance, to stop just how you say, like, XYZ is doing this, so this must be meta, this must be the thing that works. Pokemon Unite is still brand new, right? It is still brand new, it's been out since July of last year, it hasn't even reached its full one year life cycle yet. And we're finding out new things for Pokemon almost every single day that we play this game. Like, for instance, Aegislash, okay? Did you guys know when Aegislash is in and does his Shadow Claw, what happens when he does Shadow Claw? His boosted auto attacks can crit. So think of it like this. When they crit, do you get bigger heals and shield form? I'll leave that up to you. Alright, you go ahead. Imagine. What does it do? But other than that, there's a lot of things in this game that people are still experimenting with. And I think Lucario, other than being in top lane, can shine in a bot lane. Specifically when he has two competent support players and a three stack down here Because what happens you generally in a three stack in a bot side you run into what Venusaur? Cool, that's the only threat I have to worry about is Venusaur. The only damage is Venusaur. Cool Considering I can dash multiple times 
when it's three people in bot lane, I'm hitting multiple targets with extreme speed. I can dash quite a bit. A lot of mobility, a lot of sustain with my Eldegoss, hitting my shields. I got Wiggly Tough with Sings. I think Lucario fits perfect in the bot side, as long, right along within the top side. But I'm still experimenting with it. It could be a little bit, you know, for my team and stuff, get synergy, but it's something I'm looking into. And I'm hoping it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm hoping we can actually get a lot of things accomplished with this for my liking, per se. Because, you know, playing Lucario, getting my team playing support, whatever. It's different because in a solo queue environment, when you're coming out, when you're coming at this with, in solo queue light, every single game is going to be different. You're not sitting here in a stack. You're not sitting here in a group in a Discord coordinating. In solo queue, you're just like hoping that you get a support, you get a DPS, you get tanks. But generally speaking, what do you get? You get two people in the jungle. Everybody else is playing DPS. You're unhappy because you're the only support on the team, and they're fighting for jungle. They're not getting the rotations. Solo queue is a mess. It is a nightmare. And I hate it because at the end of the day, I ranked up the Masters twice, so strictly solo queue. The first time I did it, I had no life Pokemon Unite. Like, when it first came out in July, dude, I was here. I was smashing games, like, in and out every single day, like, religiously. And I still do. I still play this game. Why? Because I'm a content creator. I love bringing content to everybody who watches my channel. I love trying to teach people new things. And I'm still learning every day, too. So, I mean, that might be something I don't know that y'all can teach me type thing. You know what I'm saying? But now, once you once you experience competitive play in a light where you can sit down and you can play in a group, it's so much better. Because even in the Discord, even in the comment section, people complain about solo queue. And I get it. It is a nightmare. And I feel like it, it has gotten worse because now we just get newer, newer players into the system, into the game and stuff. And that's not bad for the game, obviously. It's really, really good. But at the same time, as Machamp just dips out, actually trying to fight here, he unites moves, jumps over the wall, and he's like, I'm out, boys. He doesn't want any. It's just like, this is a solo queue with one partner. We can control what we're going to do, but again, we have five other people, four other people on the team, or sorry, three other people on the team, and then you have five enemy players we got to worry about. It's just, it's too much sometimes in a solo queue environment. But, I will say, playing in groups has also shown me a lot of things when it comes to Pokemon Unite. It allows you to meet new friends. It allows you to meet or get synergy with other players you don't generally play with. It's fantastic. Look at this healing that I get up here with, uh, what do you call it? This score, score pad, let alone my extreme speed. Makes me very, very difficult just to lock down. Really tough comes up here. And I'm for it, you know, I'm ready. I'm just waiting for Sing to pop up, get my extreme speed to go. And we're, we're going, we're going in. Charizard's super low, but at the same time, so are we. And I'm a little bit nervous, I don't have abilities here. Wiggly's up, still going, and he's still going in strong. I'm chilling, you know, trying, trying to get him to back up a little bit. But you know, no, no, he's going in, he's going to slap this man, gets him to sleep again, because he gets stunned. And we get a stream speed dash off, we get the kill. It was great, it was one of those moments where, in a solo queue world, for instance, let's say I was doing that with a randomer, I don't think that would happen. Because 9 out of 10, that Wiggly stuff might have had rollout. Let's be fair, let's be real about it. She might have had a rollout in the solo queue world. Or she might have not been competent in her abilities to get up and perform the way my Wiggly stuff did. Not saying that there aren't really good Wiggly stuff players in solo queue. Because I know y'all are out there. I've played with y'all on my team. I've played against you guys. I know there's some very, very solid players in solo queue. And like I said, I come from solo queue. Not that I'm the best player. You know what I'm saying? I'm, like I said, I'm still learning. But it's more so, in solo queue, I know what to expect. In a group setting, when you guys are sitting down trying to play in groups, trying to play with, you know, one or two players in teams, trios, five stacks, or whatever, you're more confident in yourself. You're more confident in your teammates because you guys are all here to do one thing. And, and we all are all on the same page. That's when you perform the best because you all want to win. In a solo queue world, that doesn't happen all the time because everyone's doing their own thing. Everyone's still in the jungle. It becomes a community jungle. People aren't rotating for objectives. It is a nightmare. But this is Pokemon Unite in a nutshell in a solo queue world. But when it comes to this Pokemon here, Lucario does everything better than every other DPS in the game, I think. Hands down, he's got damage, he's got his mobility, he can steal every single objective. He's just like Talonflame. You know, in between those two, who could do better? When it comes to these objectives and as long as this pokemon is backed by great support players or great supports in general what can't he do you can already see what he does at zapdos you already see what he does in top lane solo 
He's a nightmare. He's a nightmare in the hands of a good player. And I'm not necessarily saying I'm a god at Lucario. All right, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying in general that this Pokemon just brings so much to a team composition. It can make him, it can make him very, very strong. You get resets of extreme speed when you're targeting multiple different Pokemon or a wild Pokemon. And he's just he's just so good. It's free damage, let alone. And we are running Bone Rush. But I, either way, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys smash that like button. Come join that Discord. Tell me I suck. Let's get down and play some games together. Whether it's competitive, standard, 4v4s, I don't care. As long as you're having fun in the community, that's, that's what matters here. But hey, I'll catch you guys in the very next video. Hopefully you guys found the code that's hidden throughout this one. I'll see y'all later. Have a good day.